Welcome back, everyone. Hope you had a great day today. All right, so continue with a simple conference registration web application. Today, we're going to be adding another uh, feature where we can see the details of a particular, uh, let's say, participant. So in this case, we want to, when we click on, let's say, Thomas Edison, it will move us to a participant page, a single page, which shows the information of uh, the participants that we've uh, clicked on. Okay, so let's start off. So let's add it over here. So we're going to make only the names columns a selectable field. So we're going to use a link, just like what we've done for the edit. Let me use a link and then uh, leave it. Okay, sorry about that. So you add that and it should navigate the user to participants, just like what we have for the edits. And this time to win participants, participant ID. All right, so we have these uh, fields selected. So when we click on Thomas Edison, it moves us to a participant page with the ID there. Okay, so let's create a new page or a new component. Let's call it a participant page. I guess we can call it like that. Then let's, let's put the new. Uh, Sorry, this should be defaults and participant page. We're going to return a div uh, participant. Let's have that. Let's ensure that this is working. So we go to the main.tsx. And over here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to add a new object and we're going to add this field called index. Uh, let's set it to true. Now, what index will do is that anytime we visit this URL with the participant ID, it's going to render the components that is being placed in here. So in this case, we're going to say you should render this page. All right. So when we visit this URL, so let's say, for example, we go to SS return HTTPS web .app slash participants slash four is going to show the participants page. So when you save that, we can see that it goes to the participants page, All right? And we can still access the ID over here, just as we did for the edit participant page using the use params. So let's add that first. Let's get rid of this comment, not needed. So go to participant page and go to, we access the params, the use params. And this, uh, the params here comes in as a, a key value pair in which the values are all strings. So we can do a participant, sorry, participant ID is equal to, so we're going to pass words the params dot participant ID. Okay, but we have TypeScript is complaining, it could be undefined. So what we're going to do is, um, we want to place a check here to prevent this, uh, to handle these error cases. So what we can do is, um, just as what we did for the edit participant page, we can simply just, let's just grab what we have over here. So if there's no participant ID, there are no participant uh, is, uh, uh, is no participant to show. Let's say if that's the case. So if there's nothing like that, it's going to return um, a number for us. So we have the participant ID and we want to grab the participant's information from the database. So we can simply create another component. So we are kind of repeating what we've done for the participant form. So what we can do here is uh, let's call it a participant details. Let's call it like that. And let's simply just don't want to repeat everything. So we're just going to grab what we have over here. All right, so paste that in there. <laughs> 
And we're going to call in the participant details. And we have the participant ID. And the participant ID. All right, so over here, we're going to return uh, dev. Let's say there's a participant info. Do that. Participant info is shown. And we want to grab this from a uh, query uh, using React Query. So we're going to use use query. We use query and we pass in the keys that we want. Let's just use the participant story just as we did for the edit form. Then this time we're going to use the um let's use the async. So we pass in a secondary function. So first we're going to grab the participants. And to grab all the participants here, wait on local for each. Grabbing it from and we can get uh, the item which should be a uh, storage and we know that this one will uh, it's a list of participants so we can simply just return the participants id and call the participants and find which of these participants um, uh, matches uh, which of these participants matches the id that we've passed in Okay, so we grab that and let's say I uh, want to share. Oops, just um, let's say one the query dot data dot um, let's say name and to grab the name and we can see that is the person Thomas Edison. All right, so we have that information down. Um, so we can let's say let's use a list over here. Let's say I have an ally. And let's say we have a name. Later on, we can properly design this thing. But for now, we just want to show the information there. So we have that. Uh, this one will be the age. Age. All right, that's there. The address. We have the address. Um, we have the address. Let's uh let's give a little this extra space in here. Grab this one. This one be the telephone. Let's have this to the telephone. Have that. We want this to be the email. Oops, just made a big mistake over there. So email. And we need the amount paid. Let's call it the amount paid. And bring in the amount and finally the uh, payment let's say the payment states status uh, this will be the status and let's also show the group let's call it the assigned group let's pass in the group id all right so we have all the information here so uh, let's give some spacing here. All right, so we give some spacing. So we have uh, the basic information of this particular uh, client uh, participant. All right, so we can go view any of this information. You can see this is Mary Moore. Uh, There's Boris Godwin. No, no, that's... One other thing that we can also add is to add an edit button or an edit link. So they can click on that and then move on to the edit page from here. So let's say uh, we want to have it at the top here. So we're going to use the link. It's not that one. So on the link and the edit participant and do that. Then it should go to participants slash the uh, participants ID. Then finally we have the edit. We have that so we click on that and it goes on to the edit page and we can edit the information. Let's say when the person pay ten dollars mm, there's a partial payment register so and then moves back to the um what's it all the participants page. Nice. Let's have a button um 
uh, I mean, we already have a back button here, but this one is on the browser side. We want to have a back button that will move the person from this page to the participants page itself. So let's have another link here. Uh, let's go to, go to the participants. Yes. Can I use that? And to go into as participants. I don't know, we can, yeah. We click on that, we go back to the participant page. We go here, we can edit the participants, and go back here, and all that is nice. So this is a quick way to add a, a details page for each of these participants. All right, so that's it. In the next video, uh, we're going to uh, take a look at the root of the application itself so when we come to this page what do we want to see we want to see let's say the total number of registered participants the total amount speed the total pledges and the full payments and all those kinds of information as kind of like a dashboard for this application so that's what we are going to do in the next video thanks a lot for watching the video do let me know what you think about it in the comments below like, dislike, share or anything that is to your fancy and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you.